Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to use a transistor that is an NPN transistor as a switch within the multi-SIM. For it, you can see that we have a transistor symbol on the third panel. So and its uh, tag is place transistor so you need to click on it after it we will select bjt npn and we will go for bc5478 transistor okay now this is our npn transistor now we need to take the ground and we will connect its ground with the emitter terminal of the transistor. So this is called is the biasing. Like uh, if you know the concept of biasing, it is simply known as the attaching the power terminals or giving the power to the transistor. So there are like uh, a lot of things like forward and reverse biasing. Okay, now we need to attach one resistor of 1.5k with the what's called is the collector terminal of the transistor. So we will go for resistor place virtual rated wet. Okay, now we will go for all groups okay we will first we will go for basic we will see that either we have any resistor here okay if not we will go and we will write your resistor okay so it is resistor rated so we will press okay we will okay now we need to double click on it we need to change its value as 1.5k now we will press OK. Now we need to rotate it 90 clockwise. So this is our resistor. Now we need to attach the DC power source. So we will take it. OK, now, now we will rotate it counterclockwise and we will connect it like that and the other end of the DC power supply with the ground so this is like this okay okay so we can even change it to 9 volt but still uh, it can like uh, tolerate 12 volt so no need to connect any other voltage now we will take our dip switch okay for it uh, like uh, we will go for dip switch okay so basic and all groups okay so we will go for all groups and then here we need to write a step so now we will take our dip switch one okay now we will attach like it now we need to connect it with the base of the transistor after it go and take one more dc power supply okay and and we will flip it counterclockwise or and also we will flip it horizontally okay now we need to connect it like that and attach the okay and attach the ground with this power supply as well okay so like this okay so you can even place it like that okay now this supply must be like 0.8 volt because 0.7 is the 
pn junction potential so it must be at least 0.8 volt okay so okay now we will place our LED on the output side which is the collector terminal to the meter terminal so that we will see that either transistor is switching or not so we will go for our like uh, LED on families and here we will go for LED okay now we will go for green LED okay so this is our LED, so we will connect this with the okay. And so okay, now we need to run it. Okay, now we can see that whenever switch is off. Our LED is on, so we will press the switch, so LED will become off. Although it is the control side and the LED side is, they are actually isolated, a bit isolated. We can say that, not perfectly, but one is the control side, which is base to emitter and on the base. So we can see that, and it. Apart from switch, it also behaves like the uh, not get like uh, when there is zero on the base, we are getting plus one logic or LED on on the output. So, so this is our okay. So this is our inverted switch or simply a switch on the what's called as the transistor. So hopefully you got this concept. So thanks for visiting our channel.